I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, StarbornInstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is very positive, because the title is, The Money Is There. And that is because on Saturday, we are having the best new moon of the whole year at 26 degrees of Scorpio. And Scorpio is a fixed financial water sign. And the four best planets in the heavens are all in Scorpio. The sun and new moon are at 26 degrees, so they're conjuncting each other. And then Venus and um, Jupiter are earlier in the sign, and they too are conjuncting each other, making all four planets even stronger. And so this is a very good time to uh, pay for and promote the things that Scorpio rules. It rules credit, debt, taxes, inheritance, insurance, grants, and loans and money coming in from any other source, including your friends or your family or even your employer. There are a number of other things that Scorpio rules as well. For instance, it rules secrecy and it rules the spy business and cyber security. And it also rules the whole medical field and the military and the police. And it rules builders and it rules the whole construction industry as well. And so it also rules things that are a little bit harder to see or somewhat intangible, but very important. Scorpio rules patience and it rules loyalty and it rules discipline. And above all, it rules justice and survival. And it rules regeneration. And that is because if you've sort of hit the bottom of the well, there's nowhere else to go but up. And that's what Scorpio does. It can help people regenerate or start anew or get some sort of fresh start in their lives. And that is very important. Because the number that rules Scorpio is the number eight. And eight happens to be the number of success. The reason why we are emphasizing success now is because there are so many indications of it under this new moon. And that is because the sun and the new moon are both at 26 degrees. Well, that's a number that reduces to eight because two plus six equals eight, which is great. And it, it simply indicates that the money will be there or justice and survival will be accentuated and that can be in a very successful way or in a successful manner. It can be positive for the good. And there are not just the four planets in Scorpio that are strong right now. It's that there is a fifth planet in a water sign. And remember, all the water signs rule are emotions and they have a lot to do with uh, healing. And so Neptune in Pisces, which is retrograde, is trining all four planets in Scorpio. And so no matter where the money is coming from, it will be there and it will make sure that justice is done. However, there can still be some infighting going on because the rulers of Scorpio are harshly aspected, and that is because Mars is at 17 degrees of Libra, and it is exactly square Pluto at 17 degrees of Capricorn. And so 17 is a number that also reduces to eight. One plus seven equals eight. So despite infighting that can cause delays, the success is still assured. The money will still be there. It may not be uh, coming exactly when you expect it, or it could be a little less than you expect, but it will still be there. Another reason why things can be more successful now is because Venus, the planet of love and partnership and the law and contracts, is at eight degrees in Scorpio conjuncting Jupiter, which is at 10 degrees. And then there is the clincher. And the clincher is 
that there are two planets ahead of the new moon in Scorpio on Saturday, and they are Mercury and Saturn. Saturn is at 26 degrees of Sagittarius. It is in exact perfect sextile to the sun and new moon in Scorpio, also at 26 degrees. And once again, 26, two plus six equals eight. And so that simply means that the long arm of the law and of the courts can be focused successfully on making sure that justice is done, both nationally and internationally. Remember that Sagittarius rules foreign countries and it rules large international bodies such as the United Nations or the World Court or the World Bank. And in particular, Sagittarius rules the whole Middle East, especially Saudi Arabia. So justice will be done now in a very successful manner. That Saturn is getting a lot of support from the sun and new moon in Scorpio. But once again, it's a financial sign. So the guilty will have to pay handsomely for their crimes right now. There's <laughs> not only will they be somewhat punished or sentenced, but they'll really have to pay money up front because of whatever crimes they have committed. Because not only will the money be there, but justice will be done as well. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, I think that the best thing that you can do right now is keep the lowest profile of your life and try not to do too much. Certainly don't make waves right now or express an opinion, Aries, because that Mars in Libra, which is your ruler, is opposing your sign and Uranus is in your sign, a planet that rules volatile or sudden surprising change. And so these two malefic planets are beginning to come into a close opposition to each other. And that can mean that at any time there could be a sudden surprising change in your life, Aries, or somewhere around you that could affect you. Because Pluto in Capricorn is also squaring um, Uranus in your sign. And so that simply means that there can be some sudden upset in finances and that could occur perhaps due to budget cuts. Maybe your employer is going to have to cut back a little bit and that might affect you. Or there can be a legal problem that you're facing and instead of getting better, it could be getting a little more intense. And this intensity will reach a peak right after Thanksgiving. So it will be during the last week of November and the first week of December that everyone can be vulnerable to a sudden unpleasant surprise, but particularly you, Aries. So you have to be very diplomatic and polite. And if I were you, I'd be real quiet right now, at least through this Thanksgiving holiday that's coming up and even through the first week of December because anything could happen, Aries, and I think you really should play it safe if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, I think that you are certainly going to have to pay out right now, so that money that will be there for others could be coming from you, Taurus. And the reason why is that there are four planets opposing your sun sign. The sun, new moon, Venus, your own ruler, and Jupiter on Saturday will all be opposing your sun sign, Taurus. And that simply means that I think there can be high expenses coming up in your life. Now they could be for a very good reason. And that is because um, you like to work hard to provide well for your loved ones and also to provide well for yourself. And your sun sign is ruled by Venus. So Taurus, you are a person that has a rather keen eye for beauty or for quality or the finer things in life. And because of that, you're willing to work hard to pay a little bit more for high quality items because you know in the long run, they're worth more. They're not gonna fall apart. There are not gonna be as many repairs. And over time, they can actually be less expensive. And so there is the possibility that you could be thinking of um, a sort of moving on up, making um, a high priced investment or you could be, since the holidays are coming, you could be deciding to splurge on something. 
And so I think that you're going to have to come up with more money somewhere, Taurus. And that could be from selling an investment. It also could be that you've already made a good investment and it's worth more, so the taxes would be higher. Or if interest rates are raised, uh, it, there could be uh, higher interest charges that you would have to pay. And that is why I think that you're, you're going to have higher expenses that mean you're going to have to sort of pay out right now, Taurus. But if it's to provide for your loved ones or to buy yourself something pretty nice, um, maybe that's okay. All right, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, the new moon uh, this weekend in Scorpio is actually in conjunct or 150 degrees away from your sun sign. So you may not be having a lot of money coming your way, Gemini, but you could be very involved anyway with things that are happening around you that could happen very, very suddenly. Because Mars and Uranus, which are opposing each other, are actually in rather good aspect to your sun sign. So you, even if there is an unpleasant surprise or something that is a sudden surprising shock, I think that you're going to be able to respond to it rather quickly and well. And that is because Mars in Libra is trining your sun and Uranus in uh, Aries is sextiling your sun. So I think that you're going to be able to handle any shock or sudden surprise that comes your way and, and you will be successful at that. That isn't what you really need to worry about, Gemini. It's that uh, Mercury, your own ruler, and Saturn, which is very strong right now, are in Sagittarius opposing your sun sign. So there can be people that are trying to throw everything at you right now because they can have an old grudge to settle or be critical or even jealous of you. And so you have that problem to contend with, not for much longer, but it could escalate right now. And then uh, Neptune in Pisces is squaring your sun, which means you may not know uh, who to believe right now, and if you act on false information, you could regret it. So you have to be very careful. And uh, don't jump to conclusions right now, Gemini. Just take it really slow, one thing at a time. But if there is some sudden change that a lot of people have to react to, I think that you'll react to it really well, and, that, and to your credit. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is the new moon you've been waiting for all year long. And that is because there are five planets in the water signs and they're all trining your sun sign, Cancer. So yes, the money is really going to be there for you. And it can be coming from a lot of different sources, including friends or other family members or your employer. And that is because the sun, new moon, Venus and Jupiter are all trining your sun. So love could be coming your way as well, Cancer. That would be nice. You could be very popular. And Neptune in Pisces is also trining your sun. So even if an imposter is exposed or a cover-up is revealed, that too will benefit you in one way or another. So even though Mars and Libra is squaring your sun, Uranus and Aries is squaring your sun, and Pluto is opposing your sun sign, those are challenges that you've been facing for a while. You are vulnerable if there is some sudden unpleasant surprise over the holidays. So you have to be really, really careful and particularly um, sort of duck if you see anything heading too quickly at you or if you see people who are litigious, in other words, are threatening lawsuits or something like that, try to, try to get away from them. But you're going to be very lucky, Cancer. And I think that ju not only will justice be done, but money is certainly coming your way. And it may be to help you make a dream come true, something that you've always wanted to do. I think you will have the money for it. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when you uh, have to be really careful with the money, but you might just want to overindulge or be a little bit extravagant instead because I did say the money's going to be there. But it could come in the form of higher expenses for you because yours is a fixed sign. And so the sun, new moon, Venus, and Jupiter and Scorpio are all squaring your sun sign this weekend. And that means that if there is some money coming in, you might be spending it as quick as you get it, Leo. And you really shouldn't do that because there are going to be changes in your life next year and you're going to have to have the money for those. So try to be as careful as you can. And even if there 
there is more money coming in. I think that it might be going out as quickly as it comes in because there could be higher expenses that you have to face. And of course, the holidays are coming. So try to be as careful as you can in managing your money, Leo, because that's what Scorpio rules, financing and good money management. You'll just have to be extra careful right now not to go overboard if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when I think that you are going to be blessed, the money really will be there, because the four planets in Scorpio sextile your sun, which is good. And that simply means that there can be extra money coming in, perhaps from an anticipated income tax refund, or perhaps from increased credit, or an inheritance, or insurance proceeds, <clears throat> or a grant, or even from friends, a family member, or your employer. So there is the possibility that with included in additional responsibility that you may be assuming next year, there could be good news about money that, additional money that is coming your way. And you know, it, it can be good money, not just a little bit, it can be pretty hefty, which would be very nice for you. That isn't what you need to worry about. What you do need to worry about is the fact that your ruler, Mercury, along with Saturn in Sagittarius, are squaring your sun. And that means that you can be encountering people who want to challenge you. These are people who are not quite as bright as you are, Virgo. And so they sort of want to pull you down to their level if they can. And you must try not to respond to their criticism or to anything they say right now because they won't be effective in another month. It's just that they have perhaps been sort of gnawing at you or bothering you uh, uh, presently, but they won't in, after the holidays. So try to take whatever they say with a grain of salt right now and not worry about that too much. And be sure and not act on false information. Instead, uh, try to stay away from people who have very strong opinions right now because you don't know if they're based on fact or not. So try not to listen to them. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time <clears throat> when you may be feeling as if you are very right about something. <clears throat> and that is because Mars is in your sign. And you may be feeling as if you've got all the facts and figures about a financial matter and you can't understand why other people aren't adhering to your facts and agreeing with you. And that could be because Mars is at 17 degrees in your sun sign and Pluto is at 17 degrees in Capricorn and they are exactly square each other. So you can be involved, Libra, in some infighting right now about the allocation of funds or how much they're supposed to be or when they're supposed to be coming. And yet, even though that may create a delay in some sort of money, the money will still be there. I mean, there's four wonderful planets right in Scorpio right ahead of your sun sign. So just make sure that you are um, got it in your hand before you really count it, Libra, and do anticipate some delay, but try to be patient because after all, it will still be there. You can count on that. It's just you have to get through a time of a little bit of infighting first. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? <clears throat> well, Scorpio, this is the uh, new moon you've been waiting for. It couldn't get any better than this, Scorpio, with the sun and new moon at 26 degrees, which reduces to eight, the number of your sun sign, and with Jupiter and uh, Venus conjuncting each other also in the sign, and all of them being trined beautifully by Neptune in Pisces. So the money will be there, Scorpio. But remember, your sign does rule justice and survival and regeneration. And so this is a time when if you've been down a little bit, you could make a comeback, Scorpio. And you could do it in a loving and nice way. So I think your life is going to improve and that includes your romantic life or all of your friendships. You could be very popular right now. But also you could be able to see that justice is done. And because your sign rules secrecy, you can do it in a very secret and um, subtle way. And 
and that's all right because if you're really quiet about it that means that you could your chances for success would increase which is great but no matter what there will be more money coming your way and that can help you make a dream come true as well and it can also mean that you can save some for a rainy day so that money could last you a very long time Scorpio all right what does it mean to a Sagittarius well Sagittarius your sign is somewhat empowered right now because Mercury is in it, but Saturn is at 26 degrees on Saturday, exactly and perfectly sextile the new moon and sun in Scorpio, also at 26 degrees. So you're going to be successful, Sagittarius. And the thing that you might be successful at is, first of all, an, an element of justice, which can be done, but also there can be some money and some loving financial support behind the scenes for you because those four planets are right behind your sun sign. So things are about to get a lot better for you, Sagittarius. And Uranus is trining uh, Saturn in your sign along with Mercury. So a new start is going to get underway, but I think it's gonna be a really solid one right now, and it's gonna have solid financial backing, which is important, and that might have been missing before. So I think you're gonna get some good financial news, and I think that you're also going to be rather popular, and uh, your love life could certainly improve behind the scenes, Sagittarius. Other people might not see that, but you would be able to enjoy a lot of pleasure right now if you wanted to. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, I think this is a time when you need to be very careful, and that is because Mars in Libra is squaring your sun where you have Pluto, and that's an exact square, and Uranus in Aries is being now opposed by Mars, and Uranus is, um, Uranus is squaring your sun sign as well. So there is, this is a time when if there is some sudden unpleasant change, you might be affected by that in one way or another, Capricorn. But the good news is the money's going to be there. And if you, if you need to use it, you'll have it, Capricorn. And the reason why is that the four planets in Scorpio, the sun, new moon, Venus, and Jupiter are all sextiling your sun. They are in excellent, supportive uh, it, they're, they're supporting you in a very excellent and sturdy way. So if you needed some money, you could get your hands on a little bit more right now, Capricorn, if you wanted to. But I think it's just coming to you in one way or another. And if I were you, I'd be real quiet about that right now. I don't think everyone should know about your good fortune, Capricorn, because of these squares to your own sun sign. So just be real quiet and uh, enjoy what's coming to you. I, I think that you will make good use of it. Okay, what does it mean to a, an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a time when you are a little bit vulnerable. Mars in Libra is trining your sun, but it is really harshly opposing your ruler, Uranus in Aries. And since it is your ruler, you could be subject to a sudden unpleasant surprise. And it could be a legal surprise. It could be a partnership matter that is a little bit uh, testy or surprising. The timing for it would be around Thanksgiving or the last week of November and the first week of December. So those are the times when you absolutely cannot afford to take a chance on anything. And particularly don't take a financial risk because on Saturday, the sun, new moon, Venus, and Jupiter in Scorpio are all squaring your sun sign. And so just like Leo, you could get a little too extravagant. And you know, what goes in could go out just as quickly. And that's why you need to practice a little restraint financially if you can, Aquarius. And then just be very, very careful uh, not to be in any dangerous places or to take any risks. Uh, try to be real careful with that if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a wonderful new moon for you. The money really will be there, Pisces. It is headed your way. And that is because uh, on Saturday, the sun, new moon, Venus, and Jupiter are all trining your sun sign where you have Neptune. 
So there could be some good money headed your way, but also there can be some sort of popularity or your love life could improve. And certainly the money could come from different sources, not just from increased credit or an inheritance or increased insurance proceeds or a grant, but it could be coming through family or friends or even your employer, Pisces. So this is an absolutely excellent time for justice to be done. And if you need to do any kind of rejuvenation, you could, you could certainly succeed at that because there is some kind of success headed your way, Pisces, and now the challenge is for you to accept it and go on because I think that this is an excellent time for you to sort of start over at something if you want to. And I think you'll have the money to do it. Congratulations. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our show and you can hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.